In this report, I'll share my estimated cost of living to retire early for 1,141 per month in El Nido, Palawan in the Philippines, including estimated rents, utilities, groceries, restaurants, transportation, and entertainment. But first, I'll show you around El Nido so you know whether or not you are interested in retiring cheap in El Nido. Good morning. Good morning. We are going to uh, island hopping tour today and I'm very excited because it's Tour A. Tour A, El Nido, Palawan. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Another beautiful spot. Cray cray. Stroke. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Life is good. Hello. <laughs> wow, it's crazy. It's crazy beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Here's my breakfast. <laughs> it's a Philippines traditional breakfast, loganiza with omelets and rice. Rice for breakfast. So Chung's breakfast is 90 peso. Yes, which is it's like a dollar eighty. Yeah, a dollar eighty cent. Yeah, it's a great deal, mm -hmm. and it comes with a view. We're going to a canopy. With a safety way to see the cliff. <laughs> yeah, they have a harness on us. Yeah. Wow. The views start. We're here. We're here. We're top of the canopy. Nice view of the city below. Yeah. And these these rocks are gorgeous, aren't they? These black limestone rocks. I'm happy they are taking the safety way to climb. <laughs> There's another higher one you have to climb up without the safety equipment. I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, but this is beautiful enough right here, isn't it? Wow. Gorgeous. El Nido is our third stop in the Philippines. Some of you asked us, where is the most beautiful place in the Philippines? El Nido is ranked as one of the most beautiful places in the world, so we came here to see for ourselves. Please subscribe if you are interested in the best places to live a more interesting life on less money. That is what we do. I left the United States in 2007 and I've been to 67 countries writing reports about the best places to retire cheap in paradise. Our reports are available at vagabondbuddha.com. So when we're in El Nido town, one of our favorite places to eat is called Happy Home. It's right in front of the beach. There it is, Happy Home. Hey, look, there's Chiang <laughs> My fish soup, I have to tell you see here, it's a tuna, it's 170 pesos. Wow, yeah. $3.20 or $0.40. Cents. Yeah. It's my veggie curry. Better, better, nice. Mm, very good. You like? Yeah, I like it. Time to eat. There are expats retired in El Nido, but not as many as other parts of the Philippines. Instead, El Nido is located on the island of Palawan, which has been continually ranked as one of the top 10 most beautiful destinations in the entire world for more than a decade. Despite international pressure forcing the cost of living up in El Nido, we still found local style accommodations that just a short scooter ride outside the tourist mob areas. We found this apartment that rents for 10,000 pesos 
or 200 a month. So buckle up while we show you why El Nido is the most beautiful place in the world. Then we will show you our cost of living estimates. This is the Adventist Hospital of Palawan. It's in El Nido. Um, it's more like a clinic, I would say. It's not really a full-on hospital, but they have a little ambulance here and everything. So There's a few clinics in town. No real hospitals there. So that beautiful beach behind us is Nakpan. Yeah. And uh, we are this, in Nakpan. We're in Nakpan, yeah. Let's see if she got a good one or not. I got a young one. A and young one, huh? They using the you know, uh, paper very paper straw, which is very nice. Huh? Yeah, environmentally friendly. Mm -hmm. I got an old one. I got the young one. They have it backwards. You're supposed to have the old one, and I'm supposed to have the young one. You're supposed to have a old one. <laughs> Okay, cost of living in El Nido, Palawan, in the Philippines. Here's my estimated cost of living converted into U.S. dollars if Chung and I move to El Nido on a tight budget. But we are all different, so you'll have to put your feet on the ground in El Nido to determine your cost of living based on how you would live, shop, eat, and entertain yourself. Okay, rents. To rent an unfurnished one-bedroom apartment You'll have to pay around 150 to 300 per month for a local style apartment. I'll use 350 per month for rent, which does not include utilities. If you want a Western style apartment, you can easily pay a few hundred more dollars depending on how much space you wanted and the amenities. I also provide a link to my report about how to find perfect apartments around the world. Okay, utilities. El Nido is at sea level, so many Westerners will be running their air conditioners for most of the year, especially at night. I estimate my electric bill would average around 140 per month, which includes water and gas. Once you acclimate to fans, you'll be able to knock 30 to 40% off your utilities. Okay, groceries. Based on our time here and the money we spent on groceries, we estimate around 350 US per month on groceries for two people. Restaurants. If we went out to eat twice per week, once for date night and once for lunch somewhere, we would spend around 40 per week or 160 per month in restaurants for the two of us. We would eat mostly in the mom and pop style restaurants rather than the expensive expat style restaurants. Okay, cell phone data. The cost to recharge prepaid service is around $16 per month. My Android phone will act as a hotspot so we can both be on the internet at the same time when we are out of the house together. Laundry. We would send our laundry out once per week for about $6 to wash, dry, and fold, so about $24 per month. Water, we would spend about $35 per month on bottled water. You should not drink the tap water. Internet, the internet will be about $50 per month depending on how fast you need your service. But there are power outages in El Nido, so it's not the most reliable internet. Okay, transportation, El Nido Central is walkable, but you'll probably need to go to the public market twice per week in Coron Coron, which is about $1 round trip per visit or 8 USD per month in a tricycle taxi. Many expats buy an old scooter for around 800 US and add about $4 per week in fuel. So we would pay about $8 to $16 per month for transportation, depending on whether we wanted to buy an old scooter or just take tricycle taxis. Alcohol. This is optional, of course. Local beers are around $1.10 in small stores. If you can watch and buy in bulk on sale, you may save a little. 
Bars charge in the range of around $1.60 to $2.40 per beer. But we saw beers as high as $7 for locally made craft beer. So for two people, we estimate around $120 US per month since we would drink mostly at home. Okay, entertainment, which is also os optional. We would budget about around $160 per month for entertainment for the two of us if we lived here in El Nido. Okay, here is the table showing the sum of our estimated expenses for El Nido Palawan. Rent at $350, groceries at $350, utilities at $140, restaurants $160, sell is $16, Laundry at 24, water at 35 per month, $50 for internet and $16 for transportation. The would total recurring total would be $1,141 for El Nido Palawan. Add 120 for alcohol and you're at 1,261. And for optional entertainment, add $160. That would put you at $1,421 per month for both alcohol and entertainment as optional along with the recurring total. The above cost of living is for two people, but it's just an estimated on the low end. For a full understanding of what it would cost you to live here, you must do an exploratory visit and put your feet on the ground. Also, visit Numbio El Nido and add anything you spend money on in your home country that's not mentioned in the table. Our cost of living are generally much lower than a new traveler because we are great bargain hunters, but there are a few people that live cheaper than we do. Never move anywhere until you have visited first personally to verify the living costs for your lifestyle and needs. I'm not guaranteeing these prices. These are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit and this post. Your costs will likely be drastically different depending on your, lifest your lifestyle and the time since this post. More typical living costs in El Nido range from about $1,400 per month to $2,500 per month for the expats. But people spending that much also have higher incomes or pensions they often report spending more on entertainment, eating out, and alcohol. Many also have more expensive cars, houses, or apartments. If you're going to try to retire cheap offshore, make sure to read my report, The Two Biggest Risks of Retiring Early for Cheap Offshore, which explains why you should have emergency funds available for unexpected large expenses. Okay, as promised, we have a web page with links and maps to everything we talked about in this video, including restaurants, grocery stores, things to do, nightlife map, where we stayed, plus much more such as visa information, walkability, weather, healthcare, social considerations, expat communities, and real estate, plus our overall retirement desirability score for El Nido. That webpage is located at the first link in the notes below this video. Thanks for reviewing our report. Retire early, 1141 a month in El Nido, Palawan in the Philippines. This is Dan of Vagabond a Week, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content. Plus, grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.